assigned to security forces at Naval Air Facility Misawa handle weapons on a regular basis. Petty Officer Aiden Campbell takes us in for a closer look. The Masters at Arms and Auxiliary Security Forces of Naval Air Facility Misawa protect the personnel and equipment located around the base. A large part of their job involves handling pistols, rifles and shotguns all of which require qualification and training. We got to teach them, you know, how to properly range in their weapon, how to properly take it apart, put it back together, what the cycle of operations is, appropriate ranges, you know, basically everything they learn, we have to go over all of it one more time. And if there's any gaps in their knowledge, we have to fill those in. Unexpected damage at the shooting range made weapons qualifications difficult to schedule despite their importance. Well, the range has been down for quite a long time, uh, something along the lines of the two plates that come together like this, they have about a quarter inch gap between the two of them and one of those plates fell down, which means that the bullets no longer go between them, they come flying back at the shooter, so that's bad. With repairs finished, the training on Misawa Air Base has resumed. When they're able to take in the coaching and actually improve, uh, coming from somebody that's never shot before to being able to coach them and they're shooting anywhere from a you know, sharpshooter to expert, it's a pretty good feeling. All of the range training and weapons qualifications play an important role in the missions of Masters at Arms and the Auxiliary Security Forces. The reason they got to qualify regularly is because they might actually have to use that weapon. We have several assets out here that we have to protect. and. It's a very realistic possibility that they might actually have to employ a weapon, so we have to make sure that they know enough to use it and be accurate with it. Petty Officer Aiden Campbell, Misawa Air Base, Japan.